Hi, I'm Lok. I'm a physics teacher. Basically, I'm teaching physics in Malaysia local syllabus, which is uh, Form 4, Form 5 and Form 6. So what I'm going to do in my this first video of my YouTube channel, I'm going to share with you some of the physics knowledge that you can apply for Malaysia local syllabus and also in this region. So for those viewers for other countries, whatever I'm going to share with you might not be suitable for you, but it's another useful reference for you, for you to understand physics in easiest way and of course you're looking into the physics in another perspective. So in the first video for today, I would like to share with you what Newton have taught us few hundred years ago. Newton of course is a very famous scientist. Basically, before he said goodbye to us, he gave us three important law. It's called the Newton's law of motion. They come with the Newton first, second and third. So I'm going to share with you one by one and look into the Newton's law in another way of understanding it. So first of all, we're going to have a Newton first law. I call it as an N1. Okay, what's the Newton first law is about? The actual definition you can see from here. And you look at the definition, you will find out you might not understand what is happening or what is going on with it. Because a lot of time when a scientist giving you a definition and certain kind of physics knowledge, it sounds so technical. It sounds so technical because no matter what, they are scientists. So they have to talk in a technical way. But for us as a normal person, as a student, how we should understand from it. From the entire definition, one of the main points that Newton tried to deliver to us is, he just want to tell us that when the object is remaining in rest, all right, they will continue to stay in rest. While there's an object which is moving with, when they're moving with constant velocity, moving with constant velocity, then the object will continue to move, continue to move with constant velocity as well. That means that maybe for some of you might think of it, may say, hey, what is this about? This sounds so ridiculous, so simple. He just want to tell us that he say, okay, when you have an object, okay, Newton just want to say that when you have an object, when an object in rest, when an object is not moving, what will happen to the object? Yeah, the object is not going to move. When it rests, it will continue to rest. That is the main point. When it rests in the stationary, they will continue to stay in rest. That's what Newton said. Maybe for you, ha, huh, what is this? Stay in rest? Of course in rest. What else you expect, right? Yeah. Then, he also said that when you're moving with constant velocity, you will continue to move with constant velocity. That means when you move with the constant velocity, means that there's no, no, no acceleration. Your acceleration must be zero. But I want you to understand, acceleration zero doesn't mean the object is not moving. It moves, but it just moves with the same speed. So that is the meaning of constant velocity. That means that another way, he just want to tell you that when your object rests, it will rest. When it moves, it will move. Then he's very smart. He say that when there's no external forces, when there's no external forces acting on it, that means that if no one disturbs the entire system, the entire object will stay what it is. It will stop, it will stop, it will move, it will move. Maybe you'll find that it's a bit ridiculous and so simple. How come Newton can be so famous with this kind of law? And how come it's so important for us? Maybe when you look at it, yeah, it sounds a bit stupid because stop, of course it stop, move, of course it move. But what is the idea behind it is, he just want to tell us that basically when you're in rest or even you're moving at constant velocity, if you are the object, you will basically feel the same. What do you mean by that? So one more time when you're looking at the object, of course, when you look at an object, you can't understand what is going on with that. Okay, fine. That's why I always tell my student, make sure when you understand something, you try to bring yourself into the situation. As Einstein said before, imagination is much more important for all kinds of knowledges. So imagine when you stay inside this object. So what is going to happen to you? 
if this object in rest. And another situation is, you stay inside the object, which is moving with constant velocity, which is acceleration zero. You still move, but it's a constant velocity, acceleration zero. Okay, of course, provided you are in a very smooth surface, okay, friction compensated uh, surface, and uh, you will stay inside here. What is going to happen? According to Newton's first law, I don't want to tell us that when you stay in a box which is resting, or when you stay in a box, it's moving with constant velocity, the feeling of you of staying in a box will be exactly the same. You will feel exactly the same. What do you mean by feel exactly the same? That means that when you stay in a box in rest, you will feel that the box is not moving. Yes, it's not moving. But when you stay in a box which is moving with constant velocity, you have the same feeling like this. It means that you do not know the box is moving at all. You do not know. The feeling is the same. Maybe you will say, huh? How can it be? When I'm moving in the car, and inside the car with the same speed, constant velocity, it means that I can feel like I'm not feeling that I'm moving at all. Yes, exactly like that. But sir, it doesn't feel like that because your car not moving with constant velocity actually because when you move, right, there's a lot of friction and resistance in between. When you're inside a place that really, really move in the same speed all the time, you will not feel that at all. A super good example is everyone know that the earth is rotating, but can you feel it? No. You see, you just imagine that since the day when your day you are born, okay, if no one tell you that the earth is rotating, the earth is orbiting, if no one tell you that, you will not know the earth is rotating and earth is orbiting, right? You will not know it at all. Why? Because you can't feel it. Why you can't feel it? Because the earth is moving in this situation. That means they maintain the same speed all the time. We know that earth is actually or rotate themselves itself by 24 hours. And of course, it orbit in one complete circle. It's a 365 days and a quarter. So this is constantly happen for a rotation of the earth with the same speed. So that's why we can't feel it at all. So now the conclusion is to tell you that Newton, first of all, just want to say, when you rest, when you move, basically, you will feel the same. Understand? All right, so that's all for this uh, video. Thank you very much. If you like my video, please do subscribe my video and share it out to your friend and any of your family member would like physics as well. Thank you. See you in the next video.